So we're going to look at creating a final piece for landscapes. Um, what I've got is some A4 paper and I've got some images for reference to give me some ideas. You can just copy one straight out or if you, um, combine some ideas to make uh, your own landscape. First thing we're going to do is create a workspace. So in your book, on a page, just roll off one ruler width at the top and the bottom of the page and at the sides. This is going to give us our space to work in. Now at the minute, this is our background. So the next thing we need to do is do our middle ground. Now all of these postcards are from Yorkshire. So it appears we've got lots of hills in Yorkshire. So I think I'm going to add some hills to my background. Just sketching it out very, very lightly to start with, just where the hills overlap um, and where the, the shape I might want. This one's my favourite. I love this uh, colour at the front here. Look, show that. I love the colours on here. So I think I might, this is actually part of the middle ground, but I might use part of that. Um, in my work, just bring it down from here like this and have this road sweeping in. Now, I also really like this gate, so I might modify this a little bit. Um, I'm going to have this gate here, I think. Now, I'm not adding any great detail, I'm just putting in the main shape. Like the idea of having this grass in front of it. So I'm just going to indicate what I'm thinking. And it's always a good, good practice when you're mapping out. Leave that, I don't think that'll work. I might put some building suggestions in the middle ground. Should probably be a bit smaller than that. Now in the middle ground you won't necessarily see lots of detail, you might just have to pick out small parts. When I'm doing trees, just sort of suggest them. Have a look at this. Can't see every individual leaf. You can just see sort of a fluffy outline. Um, and I think down here, I'm going to use um, this one and pop in something in, in the foreground, very, very close. So we're going to have it half coming on, half coming off, I think, and stretching up. Right, I'm going to go with that because I'm going to add in um, more detail as I work um, with the paint. 